Hi, this is John Kelly of 6 by 6 Design Website Services, and I'm back here to help you get your Google, Google Analytics account set up. And Google Analytics is to allow you to see the visitors coming to your website. It is a free service that's offered by Google and a must-have if you have a website. So before we can do so, though, you have to make sure you have a Google account first. So if you have not done gotten your Google account, two ways you can go about doing this. One is you can watch the video I created on it of how to get a Google account and um, watch that. It's only a few minutes to show you how to do it. The other way is to simply go up here to where it says sign in, which my video walks you through by the way, but you click sign in and then from there you create a new Google account where it asks you to um, and follow the instructions from there. So again, go watch the video if you're not sure how to do that, but you must have a Google account before we can get you signed up for analytics. Okay, so assuming now that you're back here and you're watching this, how to get your analytics account, at the top of the browser window where it says google.com, right after google.com, I want you to type in analytics. So it should be www.google.com slash analytics, A-N-A-L-Y-T-I-C-S and then press enter. When you do that, it's going to take you to the analytics sign-up page. Now, if you already have an account, you can actually sign in, and this is where you go to your analytics and actually see your site statistics. But for right now, we need to get a new account. So we're going to go to sign up now. And I'm going to sign up with the email address and password that I used. Now, this email address is different than the one I signed up for. If you watched the last video, I used support at 6x6design.com. I already have accounts set on there. So I'm using a new email address that I set up in Google Accounts. And uh, bring my password in here. But again, whatever username and password or whatever email address and password you use to get your Google account, this is what you want to place in here. So we go ahead and sign in. Okay, now from here, uh, it's very simple. All we have to do is go down here where it says sign up. Now it's going to take us to the next page where it's going to ask us, well, what do you want to get tracking code for? Well, we need a web address. So uh, whatever your website address is, also known as the URL, uh, you want to type that into here. So www, whatever that may be, uh, I'm going to pick a site that I don't have tracking code for so I can show you how it works. Okay, so whatever your web address is, uh, so www.yourwebsite.com or .net or whatever it may be, and after you enter that, as soon as you click out of there, it's going to enter an account name. Now, you can make this account name whatever you want it to be. I prefer to leave it the web address, so you know when I have more than one website, I know which one it is. And pick your time zone. You know, I'm in the United States, and I'm on Eastern Time. And from here, I just click Continue. Now, it's going to ask me for some information uh, about me. I can't even spell anyone's name, right? Okay, and then... Um, select my country and the United States okay and from here I simply click continue now it's going to tell you the analytics terms of service so of course you want to read through that and if you agree to it then click on yes I agree to it above terms and conditions and click the button that says create new account and basically from here we're just about done so right now it's going to create what's called the tracking code uh, the tracking code is the code that we actually place on your website. So when Google uh, has this code on a website, whenever somebody visits it, it now knows that it co collects the information about the visitor and puts it in your statistics. So this has to be on every page of your website that you want to track. Now, I am not going to go into showing you how to add this code and this is JavaScript code that gets added to the bottom of your HTML code uh, just above the body tag just for those of you who are looking to do this further but uh, the instructions here will also tell you how to do it if you want to try to pursue it yourself uh, I am gonna stop here with showing you how to add this but for those users of WordPress for your website if we directed you here to do this well all you need to do from here is very simple just simply go in here and copy everything that you see here just 
just select, hold your mouse button down, copy and drag, and it'll select everything. Right click on it and go to copy or press control C, whichever you want, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, open up an email, send me an email, and paste the code in your email. So if I open up a new email and I right click or control P and I paste that code into the email and just send it to John at 6x6design.com and just tell me what it is. And it's Google code or whatever you want to say or hi John or whatever. And go ahead and send it. Okay, and that's it. And once I get your code, then uh, I will place it. If I am managing your website for you, I will place that on your website for you and give it 24 hours for your statistics to begin showing up. It's always a day behind, just so you know. And uh, for those of you who are users of WordPress that have administration capability in your admin panel, meaning you have the highest level of entry to your admin panel, you are able to. Uh, control plugins and edit your theme and do things like that. Well, all you need to do is install a plugin called uh, Google Analyticator, and that's one of several plugins that you can install on your WordPress site. And then this piece of code that I just highlighted right here is what it will ask you to paste in there and then click uh, Submit. And then that'll install it on every page of your WordPress site for you. So for those of you who I am managing your website for you and it's in WordPress, uh, I, this is exactly what I will do for you. If your website is not built in WordPress, then I have to manually take this code and install this into your source code uh, on each page. And again, that's something I can do for you if I'm managing it for you. So that's going to do it from here. So again, if you have any questions on this, feel free to send me an email, john at 6x6design.com. And uh, look forward to talking to you soon.